Today is a first Friday, and as every first Friday, we think and we are grateful to Jesus Christ of his sufferings and all the heartache which his sacred heart went through in his passion and in his holy death on the cross. The all the season of Lent is truly dedicated in thinking what more could we possibly do to show our love to our Lord's sacred heart who has loved us so much. In the epistle of today's Lenten Ferial Mass, we read one of my favorite verses of the Old Testament. It comes from the prophet Isaiah, and it reads, Cry, cease not, as a trumpet exalt thy voice, and tell my people their wicked doings, and the house of Jacob their sins. We are told in this <coughs> epistle of Isaiah how we should observe this holy season of Lent. We are, of course, to follow the church rules of fast and abstinence if we are old enough or young enough to be so obliged. But fasting or penance, that means nothing if we would neglect our duties, namely kindness and charity to our name. That was always the problem with the people of the Old Testament whom Isaiah and the other prophets were addressing. The people of the Old Testament, they were very strict with all the exterior rituals, but unfortunately they often neglected love and charity to their neighbor. And that's why God raised prophets like Isaiah to cry to the sinful people of Israel without ceasing that they would keep the law well, not only fulfilling it exteriorly through the different rituals, but that they would most especially keep the law of love, namely love of God, honor and respect which is due to him, and also love and charity and kindness toward their name. And this new covenant or New Testament was confirmed by our dear Savior, Jesus Christ, the covenant of love. Now all the people, not just now all the people, not just the Israelites, they were called to his kingdom, the Catholic Church. As we read from New Testament, whoever wants to go to heaven, he must follow this greatest commandment, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart and with thy whole soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. When Christ was born, we were transferred from the covenant of grace to the covenant of grace. For our Lent, we can follow the example of today's saint, Saint Casimir, who is one of those saints who is enshrined above our altar. Saint Casimir lived in the 1400s and he was born as the son of the King of Poland. When Casimir was 13 years old, he had a chance to become the King of Hungary, but he refused. And the rest of his life, his goal was not a throne, but heaven. He fasted, he slept on the ground, and he prayed in the middle of the night. He loved to meditate on the passion of Christ, which is always a good way of learning to love God, who loves us so much. But St. Casimir was also always cheerful and friendly with everyone, and in this way a perfect model how the prophets wanted their people to do penance. St. Casimir would always do what he knew was right. Sometimes he would even advise his father, the king, to rule people fairly. 
He always gave his advice to his father with the greatest honor and respect, and the father would listen to him. But St. Casimir also showed his great love to Jesus by devoting himself to remain unmarried. Even when his parents found a very beautiful and virtuous girl to marry, St. Casimir chose to give his heart to God alone. So St. Casimir is perfect Lenten saint. He loved penance, he loved his people, and was always respectable to his parents. He is also a good saint to ask to protect our own father Valerie and the people in Ukraine. When in the 1500s Russians were attacking the country called Lithuania, it was the apparition of St. Casimir who showed the outnumbered Lithuanians where best to break the Russian line and save their country. From him and the lesson of Isaiah, we see that the best way to do penance is to be always charitable, patient and loving with everyone, because the Sacred Heart of Jesus was and is always so full of love to all men, and he suffered so much for us because he loves us so much. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.